Hello guys, Lincoln here and today I'm going to go through some stuff. Uh, first of all, let's go to the part I guess everyone is most interested in and then if you're not interested in the rest you can skip it. But there is a new code out there to get 10 more of those power cores so let's get to that at once. Click on your portrait, upper left corner, click settings, redeem code and with capital letters write PG heroes like this 23 to get those power cores. This code is a couple of days old, you might actually already have it. Uh, I'm a bit late uh, this time with the codes, but uh, if you haven't, go ahead and claim that one. I want to today talk about um, the feathers and uh, now that I've started to get some heroes to um, a lot of purple stars, I have Dorian at five purple stars going to push him to six stars so I can get those ultimate weapons on this guy. I go for Magla when it comes to the blue feathers um, and I just got Daeva to three purple stars and considering that this one will be really hard to get to level 150 and then getting her as well to six purple stars before you can use the ultimate weapons I figure it's a good idea to actually start pushing some three star weapons for Daeva because it will take such a long time. For the rest of the heroes, I'm actually going to save the crafting materials for someone like Dorian to uh, go directly for the six star uh, items. Even though it's much more expensive, but it's the end game. You want the end game gear if you can. When it comes to Magla, I'm not gonna focus on making any weapon for her uh, because I have a uh, energy on hit eight on her. It will be it's, easy, it's possible to get more energy on hit with the new gear that you can craft, but it's really, really hard. So I figured I will focus on Daeva today. And I actually made one weapon already uh, on Daeva. And I actually haven't really decided if I'm going to use it or not, because the one she's using, she got a double hit on attack power. That's 2200 attack power with a really high energy regen at 3. And... The one that I got now, it's actually kind of cool now. You will actually get finally some way to see, to find the new item since you actually get the little purple three star on the new item here. So it's easier to see them uh, among all the other ones. This is one of the basic things that Gameloft ha actually, they should have done this a year ago because the game is actually broken without being able to sort your items based on what um, stats they have so it's impossible basically to find your items but in this case crafting the new ones you can at least see them with that purple star so that's a real nice feature and uh, I got uh, the highest energy on hit on the primary stat and I got another energy on hit hit <laughs> with a 4 so it's a 10 energy on hit weapon so really nice when it comes to pure energy on hit but I'm losing a lot of attack power on this one, so I'm actually not sure I'm going to switch. I got that bonus for being a Awakening gear. I got 6 attack speed as well, so might choose to switch, but haven't directly decided. And I will actually make one more before I choose what to do. So let's go on and craft some more of those Awakening materials. Daeva. So basically the level 130 items, they have the same uh, secondary stat values as the level 150 weapons uh, when they are normal weapons, when they are not awakening weapons. So you have the chance to get already as level 130 the same um, secondary stats, but you usually get, you get those awakening stats values and the primary stat can actually get higher as well. So what I'm hoping for now is energy on hit, another 6, but uh, we'll see on the primary stat. And I want uh, some really high attack power on Daeva. If I could get a double hit, that would give me 2600 attack power with another 5 energy on hit on secondary stat with a 3 on energy regen, and that would be a dream. And then on Awakening stats, another energy on hit 3 maybe, attack stats and uh, attack speed and power is also fantastic. So let's go and make one more and see what happens. So I got energy on hit 
five really high energy on hit on the primary value. I got one hit on attack power as a base. Uh, what's it called? Um, stats that are fixed, and then you have uh, attack percentage. Okay, but I got another energy on hit as well. Kind of neat weapon. Not the dream weapon. I prefer since Deva doesn't have a really high crit uh, rate, then the crit damage might get lost if you don't really have the high crit rate. But that's something I may be, be able to tweak. I'll see. Leave this for now. I think actually I will make one for Dorian. Let's see, what do we get? We get. I'm going to skip Dorian. I'm going to save for uh, him being six star. And but I do want. Um, let's see what do we have. A cape to Daeva as well, since she has a really bad one basically, and we could get some better stats now. So let's go and make one. See what happens. So I got uh, health, and that's really nice. A lot of magic resist, but I got the worst possible health regen value. You really don't want health regen. And I got a double hit on a health regen. It's crap when you get those health regen values or energy when hit. You don't really want it. I was hoping for a lot of armor, extra health, and I really got a terrible weapon considering it's really expensive making these. Uh, oh well. When it comes to the boots, there are actually some nice damage boots out there now. You can choose either to get, when it comes to the three stars, either one with some primary stat health, and then you can get some more uh, dodge or health regen on the awakening stats, nothing you really want. But you got one here actually that got both dodge, which is a really nice value for all your heroes, and as well, you will be able to get some extra damage, crit chance or crit damage. So we're going for one of these. This is the, the good thing with these boots. So you can actually use them on any hero. They are not uh, connected to any specific class. So let's make one of these. So it's dodge, health percentage, health regen, armor and more dodge. 16% dodge, really nice with a crit chance as well. So um, for a melee, really nice weapon. Uh, Dorian will like these as well, or someone that will be in the front. When it comes to the caps, I'm not going to make any of these. I'm going to save because they are using the same materials, those carved bone idols as the amulets. And the amulets are kind of cool actually already at uh, three purple stars. You have one with a primary stat of crit chance, and then you have one that gives you energy regen. And if you're le lucky, you could get energy regen 3 with an energy on hit 5 on the secondary stat, and then get another 2 energy regen on the awakening stats, making this quite a nice weapon, considering you will get some other stats as well. So I'm going to make two of these and see what's going on. Health regen, terrible as the awakening stat, but I got energy regen 3, energy on hit 4. As you can see, making these weapons really hard, uh, really expensive and not that easy to get the values you want as well. So this will actually be worse than any of my items that I have. So won't be able to use this on basically anyone because it's so easy getting energy regen 3 with an energy on hit 5 on, on a, your... Um, your other amulets, basically. But um, considering there's nothing really else I want when it comes to the hats, I'm going for another one just for the video. And it's not with the crit chance. Crit chance is actually really nice as well, if that's something I want. I'm currently pushing energy. I have... Um, let's check Magla. Magla doesn't have the best amulet, actually. So I could get an upgrade if I'm lucky. Energy on hit 5 with an energy regen 4. It's not bad, you get that health as well. But there is a chance to get an upgrade for Magla. And um, for that reason, let's try it. 
let's see. Um, that's attack speed, no. Let's see this one, energy regen, let's go. Energy regen, energy regen, or energy on hit. So this is actually a really nice uh, amulet. I got energy regen for basically the same that I have on my Magla as well, but really high crit damage, health regen is crap. So didn't really get any of the secondary stats I would have wanted. Uh, would have wanted attack speed, crit chance, dodge, whatever, but um, you know, get stuck with a health regen. <laughs> so okay, but still really good amulet really high attack speed uh, really high energy regen on that amulet and uh, now it's time to start figuring out uh, which hero is going to use what um, and uh, i will, might make another video of that but uh, as we can see now this is considered a big upgrade i used a 110 cape a normal one from before so this would be a really nice upgrade even though it has some terrible stats with a health regen. But 37 magic resist is really nice and you get the extra health as well. And there's actually the first time you actually have some use of health regen. It's now when you start getting those, you're fighting only Fangrim teams every time. The fight takes forever and during that time you will actually have use of some health regen. So for that reason, okay, let's try it. And when it comes to the weapons, well, the game thinks I should use this one instead. I will get five more energy on hit, but I will lose some attack power, um, but not much actually. So this will be an upgrade. I will use this one as well. And Daeva should be a little more happy by now. Her amulet, amulet is actually crap as well. So she will get a nice upgrade from all of this. With some insane health regen, so might actually have use for this, as I mentioned, for the <laughs> Fangrim teams. This has no attack power at all, but then again, I didn't have so. This one with four and a five. Yeah, let's go for that one. 21,000 more. The game just for fun, let's. Compare energy on hit four and energy regen three. I lose one in energy regen, but I get the crit chance. Let's try that one and we get another 12,000 power. So let's try Deva with this combo for now and see how that goes. See you guys.